So the recommendation that the staff are... Fort St. John's City Council has approved their operating budget. The document was presented at a committee of the whole meeting on Monday where city staff decided on an almost 1% increase in property taxes, a drop of 3% from their first draft. And that was a good um, balance because it... Uh, it took in not, uh, it didn't compromise our long-term sustainability uh, with, the, uh, with addressing the infrastructure gap, uh, but it also considered the community and uh, the economic slowdown that we have. Council rejected the first draft's budget proposal of an almost 4% increase out of concern for taxpayers. We're in a precarious economic situation waiting for some final investment decisions. So while we work on that front to ensure that there are support for those projects moving forward, we also recognize that we're in a situation right now where a couple of dollars in your pockets would uh, make a lot more sense. Smith says city staff reduced spending on infrastructure in order to make the lower tax rate work. Some of what we did was um, reduce the amount of uh, maintenance we did on our roads, uh, the amount of um, money we put towards promotion and advertising. Uh, so that was uh, that has that is something that was removed from the operating budget this year, which may likely come in back into the operating budget next year. While the reductions were proposed on a temporary basis, they may be here to stay. That is a decision that we should make next year, if for whatever reason. Uh, the economic situation does not remain, then we may say those aren't temporary decreases in services. They may have to become permanent decreases in services. With the plan approved in principle, city staff will now be working on the bylaws which will bring it into effect, which they will present to council on March 14th. Hugh Smith, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.